Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on King John and we, today we get to hear from Philip the Bastard or just Bastard as he is called for most of the play. But if you remember from yesterday, we're just in Act 1, Scene 1, so there isn't that necessary. Well, there's a bunch to recap, but whatever. We won't go through all of it. Um, France wants to declare war on England because they don't think that King John has a legitimate claim to the throne. They think that his nephew Arthur, who is the son of his elder brother Geoffrey, should be king instead. Um, and then these two guys come in, Philip the Bastard and R Robert Falconbridge, and Robert says that Philip is illegitimate, and there's a little bit of like, hey, he happens to kind of sort of look like King Richard the First, and, and Robert's like, yeah, he's illegitimate, maybe he is Richard's kid, whatever, whatever, but I want my land, and King John, who also doesn't have necessarily the most legitimate claim to the throne in the world, sides with Philip and says, no, he's legit, I mean, your mom was married when they got when she had Philip, so even if she had him by somebody else, she was married, so he's legit. But then Queen Eleanor is like, hey, Philip, I like, I, I like you. You're, you're strong, you're sassy, all that sort of stuff. Come be a soldier with me. And he's like, okay, I renounce my titles. I no longer lay claim to the Falconbridge stuff. Um, yeah, I'll go fight with you in France. And she's like, okay, let's go. So as everybody is leaving, Philip says, Brother adieu, good fortune come to thee, for thou hast got in the way of honesty. And then everybody leaves, and it's just Philip by himself. A foot of honor better than I was. But many a many foot of land the worse. Well, now I can make any Joan a lady. Good den, Sir Richard. God mercy, fellow. And if his name be George, I'll call him Peter, for new made honor doth forget men's names. Tis too respective and too sociable for your conversion. Now your traveler, he and his toothpick at my worship's mess, and when my nightly stomach is sufficed, why then I suck my teeth and catechize my picket man of countries. My dear sir, thus leaning on my elbow, I begin, I shall beseech you that is question now. And then comes answer like an absy book. Oh, sir, says answer, at your best command, at your employment, at your service, sir. No, sir, says question. I, sweet sir, at yours. And so, ere answer knows what question would, saving in dialogue of compliment, and talking of the Alps and Apennines and the Pyrenean and the River Po, it draws towards supper and conclusion so. But this is worshipful society and fits the mounting spirit like myself for he is but a bastard to the time that doth not smack of observation and so am i whether i smack or no and not alone in habit and device exterior form outward accoutrement but from the inward motion to deliver sweet 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 poison for the aged tooth which Though I will not practice to deceive, yet to avoid deceit, I mean to learn, for it shall strew the steps of my rising. But who comes in such haste in riding robes? What woman post is this? Hath she no husband that will take pains to blow a horn before her? Oh, me, tis my mother. How now, good lady? What brings you here to court so hastily? So Philip, who was named um, Sir Richard Plantagenet when he gave up all of his lands and titles and crowns and all that sort of stuff, because Queen Eleanor and King John thought that he sort of looked like King Richard. So they're like, sure, we'll name you Sir Richard and we'll give you the last name Plantagenet and now let's go off to war. So he has gone from, in the space of like four seconds, has gone from being a bastard to being a knight, which is pretty significant climbing of the social ladder as far as English society is concerned. And this this monologue, he's mostly making fun of the world that he's now going to have to be a part of, where everybody's going to be bowing and scraping and calling him sir, and, and he can talk about whatever stupid things that people are supposed to talk about while they're having supper in the fancy palaces and, and all this sort of thing. And, he's, and he, he sort of finishes it up by saying that he doesn't really want to lie about it, but in order to not be called out as a liar, because he's 
not really Sir Richard Plantagenet. He's gonna fake it until he makes it, kind of a thing, is what this is going with. And then his mom comes in, and we're gonna learn some interesting things in the course of his conversation with his mom tomorrow. So I'm not gonna give that away. You gotta come back tomorrow and find out what, what he and his mom talk about. I will see you then for that. Mwah.